you love cookies. In this video. Molly, how was your day? Huh, what? What'd you say? Molly, would you please put down your phone? We're trying to eat our dinner. And besides, we're having your favorite bean burritos. Yeah, but first I have to make this snap. Molly, can you turn off that Snapchat? No, Mom, I'm doing my night routine. Molly, don't go in there. Oh, no, Molly. Oh, yes. How may I help you? Yes, this is Laura Acker, and I would like to block Snapchat, all of the apps off of my daughter's phones, please. Block them. If you can go the whole day without Snapchat, then tomorrow I'll unban it. Really? That doesn't sound so hard. Besides, it's not like I can get out anyway. I want you to try to spend the day having fun in the real world. Ugh, this is going to be the most boring day ever. Molly, I want you to try. All right, fine. Girls, isn't this the perfect night to eat dinner outside? Yeah, and these bean burritos you made are delicious. Molly, how was your day? Huh, what? What'd you say? Molly, would you please put down your phone? We're trying to eat our dinner, and besides, we're having your favorite bean burritos. Yeah, but first I have to make this snap of me sitting at the table about to eat my bean burrito. Molly, you're crazy about Snapchat. Crazy awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna be the most popular girl in all of Brookhaven. You just wait and see. Molly, I think you're becoming a little bit crazy. Maybe a little obsessed with Snapchat. No such thing, Mom. Molly, put down your phone and eat your bean burrito. Okay, but only for a minute. And then I'm gonna get back on and make another snap. With beans in your teeth, Molly? No, not with beans in my teeth. My sister is so annoying. Send. Molly, that's a rude Snapchat to make. Well, it's true. That was delicious, Mom. See you later. <coughs> Molly, where are you going? I have to go to, do, to my room to do some um, stuff. Homework. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> Finally, I can be alone for five seconds so I can get on Snapchat. Here's me, after eating bean burrito, looking super cute. Molly, I'm so much better at Snapchat than you. <gasps> what? What are you talking about? My sister is so annoying. Ow. Sen. Molly, quit saying that on Snapchat. I'm going to do a knife routine, and mine's going to be way more popular than yours. No, it's not. I'm going to be the most popular Snapchatter in the world. Is that even a word, Molly? Snapchatter? Yeah, I just made it up. I'm going to be the best Snapchatter ever. We'll see about this. Let's have a competition. Whoever gets the most views on their night routine Snapchat wins. Challenge accepted. Hey, guys. I'm about to do the most awesome night routine ever. So let's get this started. What? Why is the door locked? Hello? Unlock the door. I'm trying to do a Snapchat. I'll be out in a minute. My mom's in there doing her night routine, obviously. <laughs> Molly, can you turn off that Snapchat? No, Mom, I'm doing my night routine. Molly, don't go in there. Oh, no, Molly. Oh, yuck. My mom made a giant stinky poo-poo, and now it's like, it's like, it's like toxic death. Oh, Mom, what do you have to say for yourself? What I have to say is, get that phone out of my face. Okay, this Snapchat is over. But make sure you make me the most popular snapchatter ever molly we need to have a talk about snapchat when you invade someone's privacy not okay you are on your phone and not spending family time also not okay mom can i make a snap of you saying this Ooh. molly put the phone down sorry mom can't i have to go take some snapchats i'm trying to be daisy to be the most popular in all of brookhaven molly get back here please Okay, the Snapchat, I guess, will be about my mom yelling at me about being on my phone. Okay, Mom, action. Molly, you are spending way too much time on your phone, especially on Snapchat. My mom thinks I'm spending way too much time on my phone. Lame. <laughs> Molly, put that phone away right now. <sighs> Fine, Mom. You need to try to spend less time on that phone, okay? First thing tomorrow, I'd like you to do some other things besides Snapchat. Fine. I mean, I don't need Snapchat. I can do this. Great. 
Now go to bed, Molly. Everybody needs some rest. Mom, I think the bathroom needs some Febreze. Thank <laughs> you. The next morning. Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm just making a Snapchat of me laying on the couch, being lazy like a sloth. I thought mom said no Snapchat. Ooh. No, she said try not to use Snapchat. And I'm going to try really hard. I promise. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're trying super hard, Molly. Good morning, Molly. I see you're already on Snapchat. How about trying to not be on Snapchat so much? Ooh. Um, yeah, okay. I'll put it away. There. <laughs> Absolutely. Great job. Now, come on. Let's go have some breakfast. Hey guys, what should I have for breakfast? I can't decide if I should have leftover pizza, waffles, chocolate. Molly, are you on Snapchat again? Of course I am, Mom. I have to decide what I'm gonna have for breakfast and I need to make a Snapchat about it. Molly, put that phone away. Okay, fine, jeepers. I guess I'll just pick waffles. Mmm, this burrito is delicious. <laughs> My mom, she fell asleep on the couch and she's drooling. Perfect Snapchat moment. Check this out. This is how old people sleep. <laughs> what? Oh, who sent me a notification? What? Molly made a snap of me drooling? I'm not drooling. Wait, am I drooling? Ooh. Ugh, that's it. I've had it with this Snapchat. at t how may I help you? Yes, this is Laura Acker, and I would like to block Snapchat, all of the apps off of my daughter's phones, please. Are you sure? Pretty sure they're gonna hate you forever if you do that. Well, it's just a risk I'll have to take. Block them. Marty, look how popular my snaps are. So what? I'm popular too. Not as popular as my night routine. Well, that's because mom stunk up the bathroom. But you just wait. I'm going to make the best snaps in the entire world. In all of Brookhaven, at least. Hey, wait, Marty. What's going on with my Snapchat? What do you mean? You probably broke it because you're so ugly. Ooh. Molly, rude. I'm going to tell mom. Something's definitely wrong with my Snapchat and on my other apps on my phone, too. Huh? What? Let me check mine. Hey, Snapchat is banned? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, but maybe we should call AT&T. Now, we can do something better. Mom! Mom, mom, mommy, 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 mom, 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 mom. Yes, mommy, what is it? Look, look at my phone. Mm, my phone is saying that, that Snapchat is banned. Ooh. What? Banned? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, isn't this terrible news? What's wrong with this thing? Come on! Well, I guess you have to spend more time in the real world now. The real world? Are you crazy? Help me fix my phone, please! Call at and I can't help you fix it. What? Why not? Because I'm the one that had it banned. <laughs> what? You did what? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. But anyway, that's what you get for sharing such embarrassing things about me on Snapchat. Spending all of your time on it instead of spending time with your family. And basically becoming completely obsessed with making snaps. OMG! Mom! How could you? You should be a mom timeout. Mom jail! That's it. Time out for you, Mom! Molly, please! Please let me out of mom time out. I promise I'll never block your apps or Snapchat ever again. Please let me out of time out. <laughs> Molly, snap out of it. Molly. Huh? What? You're daydreaming. Anyway, you can't be on Snapchat. It's banned. Mom, come on. Sorry, but no can do. You need to start spending more time in the real world and understanding that not everybody wants you to snap their lives. <sighs> Worst day ever! What am I gonna do with myself? I'm so bored! I'm bored! Molly, you've been without Snapchat for five seconds. <laughs> and I won't even make it five seconds more! Please, Mom, turn it back on! No, Molly. Ooh. Go outside. 
and get some fresh air. Fresh air? Who needs fresh air? I just need snack chat. Oh. Hey there, loser. What are you crying about? <laughs> Go away, Sarah. No one wants to talk to you. <laughs> what are you doing, Sarah? Turn off Snapchat. I'm snapping you crying like a baby. <laughs> Why are you crying? I have a good reason, okay? Just leave me alone. Well, te tell everybody in my snap why you're crying, or you're just gonna look like a baby. I'm crying because my mom banned Snapchat. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, it's so funny. All of my dreams are going down the toilet. <laughs> I always thought you were the biggest turd anyway. Time to get. <laughs> what? You just call me a turd? Yeah, and I just snapped everything you just said. <laughs> so now you're gonna look like a total loser. <laughs> Worst day ever! <laughs> Molly? What's wrong? Molly! I didn't think Snapchat was gonna be that important. Well, it is! <laughs> talk to me. I'd rather make a snap about it. Molly, no. You're gonna talk to me. That's what we do as a family. Sarah saw me crying outside. Sarah, the bully from school? Yeah, she got out of her car and she made a Snapchat of me looking ridiculous. Well, that sounds kind of familiar. What do you mean? Well, you've taken some really embarrassing snaps of me. Okay, well, never mind. What can I do to make you feel better? Well, now she's embarrassing me in front of everybody in her snaps. Well, the good thing is, is... You don't have Snapchat, so you don't have to see it. Mom, that doesn't solve it. <laughs> Molly, other people's opinions of you are none of your business. Wait, what? Say that again? That sounded like a really smart thing to say. Molly, when someone has an opinion of you, that's their choice and their problem, not yours. Besides, if you're not on Snapchat, you don't even have to see it. Yeah, but everybody's going to be talking about it. Let him blah, 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 blah. You know you're amazing and that's all that matters. Wow, I never thought of it that way before. Please can I have Snapchat back now? Molly, no. <sighs> I'll tell you what. If you can go the whole day without Snapchat, then tomorrow I'll unban it. Really? That doesn't sound so hard. Besides, it's not like I can get out anyway. I want you to try to spend the day having fun in the real world. Ugh. This is going to be the most boring day ever. Molly, I want you to try. All right, fine. Well, Molly, we don't have our phones, so we better as well make the best of it. <sighs> I guess so. But will anybody even know we're having fun if we don't take a snap of it? But maybe we can have fun without everybody knowing. What's the point of that? Whee! <laughs> oh, actually, that was kind of fun. Burr, the water's cold. See, Molly, it's okay to have fun without anybody looking. Yeah, I guess you're right, but don't we want everybody to know we're having fun? Duh, we can just have fun ourselves. Crazy, boy. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of crazy. Well, since we don't have Snapchat, better make the best of it, I guess. Come on, Daisy, let's swim. Daisy, let's play Marco Polo. Okay, Molly, you be it, and I'll be the one you try to get. And don't peek, Molly, no cheating. Me? Cheat? <laughs> Never. Molly, your eyes are open. Ooh. Close them. Okay, okay, they're closed. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. No cheating by getting out of the pool, Daisy. Marco. <laughs> She's under the water. <laughs> Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Ha <laughs> ha Got you, Daisy! Ha ha ha! Look at all these flavors! They look delicious! Yeah, everybody's been in here getting three scoops and Snapchatting them. We have new flavors today, and everyone wants to get a snap of them. Me too! Oh, wait a minute. I don't have Snapchat. Who cares, Molly? We can still enjoy the ice cream, right? I don't think it'll taste as good if I don't make a snap of it. Molly, 
Come on, the ice cream's gonna taste the same. Uh, what can I get for you? I'll have the birthday cake, I guess. Even though no one else is gonna see me eating it. It's not even gonna taste as good. Molly, just try it. Mmm, actually, I think it tastes better. You know, when I'm not distracted on my phone, it's like, I can actually taste what I'm eating. Whoa, maybe mom was smarter than we thought about Snapchat. <laughs> You're right. Nah. What do parents know? <laughs> They're just old and boring. Daisy, look at this. I got a new high score. Whoa, that's amazing, Molly. It says you're number one in the whole arcade. I gotta Snapchat this. Oh, wait. No, Snapchat, it's banned. Well, I'll always know you got the highest score. Oh. And anybody who comes in here to play this game will see Molly. But but they won't know who Molly is unless I snap it. Girls, it seems so great to see your faces without phones in front of them. So, how was your day at the pool? Mm, these burritos are delicious, Mom. Our day was amazing, right, Molly? Yeah, I thought I was going to really miss snapping everything. And I did at first, but we still had fun in the pool. And then we ate ice cream. We went to the arcade. And, Mom, I got the highest score. Whoa, that sounds amazing. So, you don't want me to ever unban Snapchat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, I did promise you that I would give you back Snapchat if you spent the whole day without worrying about it and having fun. And we did, Mom. I promise. I just hope you've learned your lesson when it comes to Snapchat. AT&T, how may I help you? Hi, yes. I'd like to unban the apps on my daughter's phone, please. Both of my daughters. Okay, no problem. There you go. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Molly, you've had Snapchat for one second. She's obsessed. What can she say? Oh, OMG, I missed everybody so much. <laughs> I, I took a screen-free day, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, no. I fear, Molly, that you're never going to be able to stop snapping. Never! <laughs> Okay, class, for the most part, everyone's grades on this test were really, really good. Well, except for a certain somebody. Molly, uh, will you stay after class, please? Uh-oh! Oh, me? Why me? I don't need to stay after class. I think we all know why you need to stay after class, Molly. Daisy, be quiet. You're such a goody two-shoes. No one cares what you have to say. Ow. Okay, Molly, that's enough. Unless, of course, you'd like to go to the principal. Uh-oh. No. No, I don't need to go to the principal. Staying after class is bad enough. Mrs. Smith, you wanted to see me after class? Yes, Molly, I did want to see you after class. Your test score is, again, terrible. <gasps> All of your test scores have been atrocious this year. If I don't start seeing an improvement in your grades... I'm afraid I'm going to have to fail you for the year. Say what? Fail me for the year? I, 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 I wouldn't be with my best friend Brookie in class anymore. I, I would be a year behind. No, no, this can't be happening. Molly, I'll give you one more opportunity to get a good test score, or I'm afraid it's inevitable. You are going to have to repeat this grade again. Hey there, Molly. It's pizza day, your favorite. I'm not really very hungry. What? You never stop being hungry. Do you have the stomach bug? No, just not hungry. <gasps> Molly, what's wrong? Oh my god, are you okay? No, I just got this test score and it's another failing grade. <laughs> Mrs. Smith said if I get one more bad test score, I'm going to fail for the year. Holy guacamole! You're going to fail for the entire year? That's not good, Molly. All those times I told you to do your homework. Daisy, stop lecturing me right now. Can't you see? I'm super sad. I have to agree with Molly right now, Daisy. I don't know if lecturing her is going to be the best thing. She is really upset. Well, Molly, there's only one thing to do. 
What? Run away? <coughs> no, Molly, not run away. You can't run away from your problems. You have to face them. And since I'm your sister, and I'm the smartest girl in the school, I'll tutor you. Wow. What? I don't think so. Molly, come on. You know that I can help you. Only, I think you should take your sister up on this offer. She definitely can help you. <sighs> okay, Molly, just log into the account for school. Molly, why are you on Roblox? Because it's going to be so much more fun. I give up. Ooh. Molly, you can't give up. You're going to fail for the year. Seriously, log in. All right, fine. You're the worst student ever. Uh -oh. Hey, thanks for the pep talk. Maybe you're the worst sister ever. Molly, do you want my help or not? Yes, I want your help. I guess. Okay, now let's look at this first math problem. Is the answer A, B, or C? Um, uh, uh. Molly, why are you making that weird face? Did Ooh. you eat a big burrito today? No, my brain is just working extra, extra, extra hard. <laughs> I got it, it's B. What? No, that's Ignoramus Ansel. That's not it at all, it's A. Huh, what? No, it's not, it's B. My brain worked really hard to calculate that. Yeah, and it calculated it wrong. No wonder you keep failing. Hey, if you're gonna be rude, then then I don't have to have you help me. Uh-oh. Why don't you just sit down and do what I tell you to? I don't think so, Daisy. I think I'd rather be in a different universe than you. What? I'm just trying to help you. Am I calling me Ignoramos? That's just rude. Go away, Daisy. <coughs> Molly, you're going to fail. Get back here. You're not in charge of me, Daisy. You're not my boss. Oh, my sister is so annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do, but she can't be my tutor. I need to find a bigger brain than Daisy. One that's not so mean either. Who has a bigger brain than Daisy? <laughs> I know. Abigail, she's the biggest nerd in our school. All I have to do is become best friends with her and all my troubles will be over. Hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie, I don't have time right now. Uh, when has she not had time for me? I'm her BFF. Uh, maybe she just had to run to the bathroom or something. Yeah. There's Abigail. Who would have guessed? She's in the study area, making your brain even bigger than it already is. Hey, Abigail. Um, hi. Uh, your best friend isn't here right now. Huh, what? No, I'm here to talk to you. What? You've never talked to me before in your life. I know, but I want to talk to you right now. You seem so cool. You want to be my best friend? What? No. Can't you see I'm doing something? I'm figuring out some math calculations. What? We didn't have math homework. I know. I just do this for fun. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. How do you think my brain is the biggest in the school? <gasps> Don't let my sister Daisy hear you that. She'd be super jealous if she knew you were the one that had the biggest brain. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Really? You think I have the biggest brain in the whole school? Yeah! You're amazing! <laughs> uh, you want to sit by me at lunch today? Um, yeah. Okay, sure. Perfect. See you then, Abigail. Abigail, over here, over here. Uh-huh, I see you, Molly. I saved you a seat. Oh, thanks so much. Want some pizza? No, I can't have any pizza. It has pepperoni on it. I'm allergic to pepperoni. Whoa, that really stinks. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have a banana. Hey, I didn't get to see you this morning. Uh, Brookie, sorry, that seat's taken. What? I always sit by you at lunch. Yeah, but not today. Abigail is sitting there. Molly, you always save me a seat. You didn't save me a seat? No, sorry. But, but, you're gonna have to get up. Hurry, Abigail's coming back. Okay, fine. Abigail, there, your seat's, your seat's empty. Okay, there you go. So why did you want to sit by me at lunch, Molly? Hey, Pookie, what's, what's going on? Whoa, you look really sad. Are you okay? No, not really. There's something really weird going on with your sister. Tell me 
about it. She's a real ignoramus. She didn't even want me to, to tutor her. She just wants to fail for the year, I guess. Wait, what? She didn't have you tutor her? And she doesn't want me as her best friend anymore. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right, Bookie. You guys have been friends forever. Yeah, well, she didn't want to talk to me this morning. She was too busy. And she didn't save me a seat at lunch either. What has gotten into her? The reason why I wanted to sit by you at lunch is because I think you're so cool. And I think we should be good friends because we have a lot in common. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You and I have nothing in common. You never do your homework. You fail all your tests. You'd rather goof off than do anything school related. Ow. You don't even like reading about math or science or anything. We're complete and total opposites. <laughs> of something in common, yeah right. So basically, why do you want to hang out with me, Molly? She has a point. Think fast, Molly. Think fast. <laughs> Got it. Um, I know that you have a rivalry with my sister Daisy. <laughs> who's got the biggest brain? And I'm going to help you prove that it's you once and for all. <gasps> okay, I'm listening. Well, you see, the teacher told me that if I fail one more test, <laughs> I'm going to fail for the year. I'm the biggest dunce in this entire school. Ooh. And my sister tried to tutor me, and she failed. Uh -oh. But you have the biggest brain ever. If you can help the class loser actually get a good grade, It'll be proof that you have the biggest brain, Abigail. Wow, I like the sound of that. I'll meet you at your house right after school. Perfect. Hey, Molly. Oh, hey, Bricky. I've just got to get my backpack and head home. Can we talk for a minute, Molly? Could we talk tomorrow or something? Uh-oh. Um, I would really like to talk to you right now. Sorry, but I'm meeting my friend Abigail after school today, like right at 3.30 sharp. I I've got to go. But Molly, sorry, we can talk tomorrow or next week or something. Ah! I can't believe it. I lost my best friend. And to who? That Abigail girl? They don't even have anything in common. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. Hello, Daisy. Are you here to see my sister, Abigail? Uh, yeah, is she home? We were supposed to meet here at 3.30 sharp. Good luck, she never's on time for anything. I'm here, I'm here, I I'm on time, I swear it. Wow. Oh, hey Molly, there you are. <laughs> well, come on, let's get started on your homework. I'm going to tutor you so good that everyone's gonna know I'm the biggest brain there ever was. Okay, anything you say, Abigail. Just help me pass this test. Okay, so the first is a word problem. If Micah has four bean burritos, and Terry has three bean burritos, and Sarah has four bean burritos, um, and you take away two bean burritos from Terry, how many bean burritos does everyone have left? Um, farts. What? What are you talking about? Uh, it doesn't really matter how many bean burritos are actually left. The only thing you have to be afraid of is all the farts. <laughs> Molly, take this seriously. I am. Bean burritos give lots of gas. The question should be, how many farts will be in the room? Molly! Seriously, take this to the extreme seriousness. Okay, okay. Well, I thought Daisy was a real, well... Mini pants. Five hours later. How much more of this do I have to do, Abigail? I was wondering the same thing. Just answer the next problem, Molly. Um, A. What? No! Oh, I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm going for a snack. Wait a minute. A snack? That's it. <laughs> Follow me into the kitchen, Molly. Why, are you hungry too? No, but I am going to prove once and for all that I have the biggest brain in the entire school. Molly, do you see these delicious tacos? Yeah, give me them, give me them. Hands off, Molly. What, no, you want to let me eat those, right? Ha, ha, ha. I'll make you a deal. If you can answer this question correctly, you can eat all of the tacos. Wow. Really? Oh, wait a minute. But I'm not very 
very smart. How will I answer correctly? Trust me, I think you're going to get this just fine, Molly. Look at these tacos. Now, if I had 100% of the tacos, then it would all be mine, correct? Uh, yeah, but why would you get 100% of the tacos? I want 100% of the tacos. Oh, Molly, see? You're already learning the math you're supposed to. Really? Yeah, percentages. Now, if I took away half the tacos, what would you have left? 50%. Ha ha ha! It's so working. Apparently, you just need to think of math as, well, food. So, when you're getting your test tomorrow, just imagine every question is food. Whoa, Abigail, now I see why you do have the biggest brain. <laughs> yep, I'm about to prove it to everyone. <laughs> well, I hope we don't use that big brain power to turn out to be a supervillain someday. Uh -oh. Hey, Abigail, do you ever do anything fun, like ever, in your entire life? Yeah, learning is fun. I love math and science. No, I mean, you taught me something today. I'm going to teach you something. Come on. What are you doing, Molly? What's happening? <laughs> We're going to play a game. What? No, I don't like games. Yeah, you'll love it. Trust me. You can borrow my sister's skateboard. What? I don't ride skateboard. Yeah, you do now. Come on, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm not so sure about this, Molly. Live a little, Abby. Live a little. Come on. Oh, my God. Molly, this is a really big hill. You can do it, Abigail. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> you can go off the diving board and flip it in the pool. Oh, uh, this is like a bad idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> Come on, Abigail. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Woo! <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Abigail? Abigail? Well, there goes the biggest brain in school. Molly, over here. That was so crazy. I went to Brookhaven Outer Space. <laughs> Did you learn something while you were up there? Real life, you know? Like, you just learned about that in science class, and now you actually went there for real. It was so cool. I guess I just need to take a break from school and learning sometimes. Yeah, and I guess sometimes I actually need to study and, like, pay attention in school and, like, do my homework and stuff at least, like, once in a while. Yeah, I guess we both can learn something from each other, Molly. Exactly. The next day. Brookie, are you okay? No, Molly, I'm not okay. Apparently... You don't have time for your best friend anymore. What? Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Brookie. I, I've been really busy lately. Yeah, with Abigail. Yo, Molly, what's up? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun hanging out with you last night. <laughs> I rode my skateboard to school. Wait, you went and bought a skateboard? Yeah, it's so awesome, right? Wait a minute, you didn't have time for me? You hung out with Abigail? Oh, we really aren't best friends anymore. Brookie? Ugh, just let her go. You have me now, Molly. No, Brookie's like my, been my best friend since preschool. Well, it's a good thing I'm your best friend too because you wouldn't have passed this test without me. Molly, you made Brookie really have her feelings. Oh, hello, Abigail. Oh, Hello, Daisy. Uh-oh. Okay, I know you guys are, like, completely arch nemesis Sissies. Someone smack or she's stuck. Sissies. Molly, step out of it. Oh, yeah. arch nemesis Okay, Molly, that's enough of that. Anyway, you guys are more alike than you think. I think you guys could be BFFs. What? Never. Uh-oh. Never. Okay, Molly, now's your chance to prove I've got the biggest brain. What? What are you talking about? You can even tutor your sister, right? You obviously don't have the biggest brain. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? If it was up to you, she'd fail every single test from here on out. But because she had me, big brain Abigail, she's finally learning how to do her math homework. 
and she's gonna pass this grade so easily. You just watch. Well, I tried to tutor her, but she's a pain in the butt. Ow. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna just go ahead and go to class now. You two have fun arguing. <laughs> I can't believe Daisy. I can't believe Molly. I can't believe Abigail. I can't believe it. I got an A on my test. <gasps> Prank me, Daisy. You already won't share your smoothie with me. No, Molly, I'm serious. Th th there's something glowing in the sand. Oh. Holy guacamole. What is that thing? Molly, don't touch it. It might be a fallen star. Molly, I said don't touch it. Ow. You're not the boss of me, Daisy. And since you wouldn't share your smoothie with me, I'm going to touch it. Molly, no, don't. We should go to the library and we should search about falling stars before we touch it. It might be like poisonous or something. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll listen to you this time. But you better buy me a smoothie from Starbucks. Fine. Five minutes later. Mm, delicious. Now that you have your smoothie, are you happy? Yeah, totally. Molly, look at this. I, I found a book about a fallen star. OMG, what's it say? It says that fallen stars can be magical. So you should be very, very careful. If you touch it, something crazy could happen. Sounds fun. Let's go back to the beach and touch it. Molly, that's a terrible idea. We should not touch the star because we don't know if it'll be good magic or bad magic. I'm sure it's good. Why would anything bad happen at Brookhaven? Well, you remember that time everybody in town got the stomach bug and everyone was puking everywhere? <laughs> um, yeah, I totally remember that. Yeah, see, bad things do happen sometimes. But not this time. It's a fallen star. They're amazing. Molly, we're going to go home. We're going to forget all about this star. We're not going to touch it. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Molly, what's up? Hey, Brookie. Um, you feel like going on a little adventure with me? Um, sure. When? Uh, first thing tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. Whoa. Are you actually going to get out of bed that early? You bet I am. Wait till I show you something totally amazing. Okay, Molly. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Molly, who are you just talking on the phone with? What? No, I wasn't talking to anyone. You liar. I just heard you talking. Uh -oh. I was talking to myself. You should do your homework more and um, listen to Daisy. She's so smart. Wow. Molly, you better not have told anybody about that fallen star. If anyone finds out about it and they touch it, well, it could have very magical consequences on Brookhaven. She's so bossy, isn't she? Bossy, 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 bossy. Molly, you should be so lucky that I'm so smart to keep you out of trouble. Ooh. Now go to sleep. And forget all about that falling star. Ow. Molly, you still haven't even told me where we're going. That's because it's a surprise. And it's an awesome one. Now, come on. Let's go before Daisy wakes up. You don't want Daisy to come with us? Molly, wait up. No. Daisy's no fun at all. Come on. We need to do this one by ourselves. We're BFFs, right? Of course we are, Molly. But I just think Daisy will have hurt feelings if we don't invite her. Trust me. She doesn't want to come. Come on. Ah! Molly, that was the longest bike ride ever. What are we doing here? Wait till you see this. 
Follow me. Holy guacamole! What is that? It's a fallen star! Uh, Molly? Something tells me this might not be good. What are you talking about? This is amazing. It's a fallen star! This only happens once, maybe in a million years! Wow! I think we should touch it. Um, no, Molly. I think that's a bad idea. Come on, Brookie. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh-oh! I don't know, but it just seems like a bad idea. We should go talk to Daisy about it. Why do we always have to talk to Daisy about everything? Do you not think I'm smart enough to figure out what this fallen star means? Um, no, it's just sometimes you make, well, decisions that aren't the best. I make fine decisions. I make good decisions. And I'm touching it. Molly, I think it's a bad idea. Well, then you don't have to. But I want to see what power is in this fallen star. And I'm going to find out. Molly! <gasps> what happened? Um, you're standing right on the fallen star and nothing happened. Wait, what's that sound? It sounds like rushing water. Yeah, are the waves getting big? No, Molly, I, I think it sounds like a, a, a tidal wave or something. You shouldn't have touched that star. Molly, oh my gosh. All of Brookhaven is underwater! Um, oopsie? What happened here? Molly! Uh, Daisy? Um, you're in pieces. I do! I had to keep respawning into Brookhaven because did you touch that star, Molly? OMG! I was working at McDonald's and then, and then this happened! I keep having to respawn because my sister touched a fallen star and now everything's underwater. Holy guacamole. Wow. That falling star is really magic. It flooded my entire town. So weird. And cool and amazing. Wait a minute. It didn't flood over there. Let's see if we can get to higher ground. Um, this isn't really what I thought when you said higher ground, Molly. Well, I'm just thinking if we all stand on top of each other. Ah! Oh, I just got killed in Brookhaven. How could this be? Because, Molly, you've changed Brookhaven. Everything about it. How will we go to school now? Um, underwater is what I'm guessing. Molly, you get over there and you touch that fallen star. Change things back the way they were. Okay, fine. I think it's awesome, though. Yeah, if you're a fish... One hour later. There it is! The fallen star! Hopefully if I touch it, then Brookhaven will go back to normal. I think the water is going down. It's draining out! Thank goodness. I think my sister would have, well, hated me forever if I didn't fix this. I feel kind of weird, though. What's happening? Why, why are you farting on the beach? I, no, I didn't fart. I bet. Look at that green stink cloud. Yeah. No, I, I really didn't. I'm just feeling really, really weird. Molly, are you okay? I don't know. When I touched the star, something happened. Uh -oh. Molly, you you grew a mermaid tail. What? No, no I didn't. Uh, Molly, yes, you did. <laughs> Molly, that teaches you for touching that falling star. Ow. <laughs> Did you learn your lesson? This isn't funny. And also my tail is starting to dry out. I gotta go get in the ocean. Molly, what are you going to do? You're a mermaid now. Well, I guess she's not going to live at our house. We don't have an ocean there. Guys, you have to help me. I don't know how. The falling stars disappeared. Wait, what? I have to live this way now? Um, yeah, good luck with that. Weren't you supposed to go out on a date with Luke tonight? Oh, no! Well, Daisy, call him on the phone and tell him to meet me here at the ocean. Oh, uh, bye, Molly. Good luck with that. Molly, look behind you. What? What is it? Ah! It's a shark! It's a shark! Oh, uh, well, Molly, I think you better play nice with the shark since you guys are both going to be living in the same house now. What? No! Okay, sort of, because now my tail's getting dried out again. Ah! Here comes the shark! I don't know what to do! Uh, maybe next time when I tell you not to 
such a falling star. You shouldn't. <gasps> okay, it seems like the shark's going away, Molly. You should be okay. Listen, shark. We both have to live in this ocean together. Five minutes later. Nice shark. Nice shark. Nice shark. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This isn't going so well. Nice shark. Hey, Molly. I uh, didn't know we were meeting at the beach for our date. Hey, Luke. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun. It's so hot out and stuff in Brookhaven today. So, did you see that giant flood we had earlier? Yeah, flash flood. Crazy, huh? From all that rain? Um, I didn't see any rain. It was just weird. It was like magic. Yeah, uh, speaking of magic. Uh-oh. What's going on, Molly? Did you get yourself into trouble somehow? Me? No, <laughs> never! Molly... Come out of the water. What's happening? I, I don't want to show you what's what's happening under the water. Really? Why? Did you fart? No, of course I didn't. Wait, did I just see what I think I saw? What? No, no. When you jumped out of the water. I could have swore I saw that you had a mermaid tail. Oh my gosh, Molly, that's crazy. Um, crazy good or crazy bad? Well, I just wasn't expecting to go on a date with a mermaid. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, if you can't understand that I'm part mermaid because I accidentally touched a magical fallen star, then I guess we can't go on any more dates. Molly, just calm down. <laughs> I think your mermaid tail is pretty cute. You do? Yeah, come on out. Show me it. Uh, here it is. Whoa. You touched a fallen star and you turn into a mermaid? I don't know if that was a good idea, but it's sure amazing. Yeah, well, first it flooded all in Brookhaven. Then my sister yelled at me and told me to touch the fallen star again. And when I did, Ooh. this is what happened. Now I have to do a YouTube video called My Mermaid Life in Brookhaven. Whoa, crazy. Sorry, I can't be out of the water for too long because I'm a mermaid. If you're a mermaid, then I want to be a merman. Come on, let's get on this jet ski. It'll be fun. It'll keep your tail nice and wet, too, because the water splashes you the whole time. Whee! <laughs> Never th uh, thought I'd like a mermaid, but Molly, I'd like you anyway. Aww. That's so nice to say. Luke, stop! Uh, Molly, I am stopped. I thought we'd go have a picnic. I'm getting hungry. No, no, I might... Okay, never mind. I just need to get off because there's the star! Wait, what? The one that turned you into a mermaid? And the one that flooded Brookhaven? Molly, I don't think you should touch it. But it might turn me back to human. I kind of like you as a mermaid. Well, that's nice, but I kind of like me as a human, too. Molly, I don't think you should touch it. Too late. Uh, Molly, what's all that green smoke? Did you eat a bean burrito for lunch? <laughs> no, this is what happened last time. Except for the star didn't disappear. Weird. It comes and goes as it wants. Well, it is magical. What's going to happen? I, I think I'm changing. Molly, you're back to human. I know, right? <laughs> so, uh, you want to go eat a bean burrito? Yeah, sure. I'm kind of going to miss your mermaid tail. Well, don't worry. I can always come back and touch the fallen star and get my tail back. Or flood Brookhaven. Yeah, but if I'm a mermaid, it won't matter. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Let's just go get burritos. Okay, cool. And maybe forget all about that fallen star. How could I forget about it? It's so shiny and pretty and amazing. Molly, no, seriously. I'm not sure you should touch it ever again. Yeah, I'll have to do some thinking on this. There it is. The fallen star. <laughs> I want all the power in the world. So I'm going to touch it. Ready? <laughs> Good morning, Molly. Time to wake up. It's okay, Mom. I'm already sort of awake because I was like super hungry, so my stomach woke me up. 
<laughs> you have a stomach alarm clock, huh? Yeah, sometimes it comes in handy, actually. Because <laughs> I want to sleep through the alarm that wakes me up for school. But you can't sleep, sleep through it being hungry. No, you really can't, Molly. Come on, let's go in the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast. Sounds good. My stomach's like grumbling. <laughs> Whoa, what are all these pumpkins for, Mom? Oh, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie and also an apple pie and... Ooh, leftover candy from Halloween. Um, Molly, Halloween was like two months ago. Yeah, and the candy doesn't go bad, Mom. <laughs> Molly, you can't have candy for breakfast. Good morning, everybody! Good morning! Molly, why you say it like that? Because, Daisy, I was like, good morning, annoying sister. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Mom, can I have a banana or something? I'm so hungry. Yeah, you can have a banana because that's healthy. But then we're going to have a regular breakfast, not Halloween candy. <laughs> Molly wanted to eat Halloween candy for her breakfast. She's so immature and irresponsible. What? No, I'm not, Mom! How come I can't say that she's, like, annoying, but she can say I'm irresponsible and immature? Girls, let's just try to get along and eat our pancakes in peace. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah, Molly. Girls. I don't want to have to ground you, okay? No, I don't want to be grounded. I don't want to be. I'm supposed to go to the water park this weekend. So hungry, so hungry. Here you go, Molly. Enjoy. Thanks, Mom. Oh, wow. This looks delicious. Mm. Mom, you make the best pancakes in the world. I'm going to have some delicious tea. I'm going to have delicious tea. Well, I'm going to have lots and lots and lots of pancakes. Mmm, these pancakes are good. Okay, girls, I want to talk to you about something. Ah, finally, we're getting a puppy! No, we're not getting a puppy, Molly. What I want to tell you is I have to run errands most of the day, and then I have a work meeting, so I have to leave someone in charge. <laughs> of course it's me, Mom. I'm the older one. Actually, Molly, it's going to be Daisy. You can't leave Daisy in charge of me. Molly, uh, I think she's kind of the mature one. What? No, she's not. Look at her. Look at her. She wears pigtails. So, Marty, even grown-ups wear pigtails. Yeah, Molly, sometimes they do. Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's why, Marty, I'm in charge. Okay, girls, try to get along while I'm gone, okay? See you later. Okay, Marty, you have to do everything I say. <laughs> That's a good one, Daisy. That's a good one. Oh, Molly, your room is smelly. And you didn't make your bed? Make a bed, Molly. Okay, I'll make my bed. Molly, all you're doing is jumping up and down. Whee! <laughs> Molly, why is it you're doing the opposite of what I say? Ah, uh, you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. <laughs> Molly, I am the boss of you. Mom made me the boss. Now make your bed. Uh-huh, sure. And when you're done with that, do your homework. All right, I'll do my homework. Everything my sister says, I'm going to do the complete opposite. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Molly, are you doing your homework? No. Molly, you're supposed to do what I say. I'm in charge. Uh-huh, sure you are, but I'm not. I'm doing the opposite. Molly, you do not do the opposite. Did you make your bed? Molly, you didn't make your bed. Oh my god, you're the most terrible um, sister in the world. Yep, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Molly, do your laundry right now. Okay, I'll do my laundry. Wow, she's actually listening. She's actually getting her laundry. Okay, I'm impressed, Molly. Molly, where are you going? The washer's not outside. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> Molly, are you going to throw your clothes in the pool? Molly, you better not. <laughs> See you later, clothes. Molly! You're grounded. Go to your room. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Molly, what are you doing? I was trying to lock you out, but you came in too quick. Seriously, Molly, you need to calm down. Now go and start your chores. Okay, Daisy. Okay, here's the mop and the broom. And I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm just going to be lazy and relax. Ah, this is the life. Molly, are your chores done? No! Doing the exact opposite of what you say. Okay, 
You are doing the exact opposite of what I say, huh? Okay, noted. Um, please go swim in the pool. What? Swim in the pool? Uh, but that's fun. Yeah, I want you to have as much fun as you possibly can. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do it in the opposite. Whoa, baby Kira left all her toys all over the floor. <laughs> Watch this. Finally, you see things my way. Holy guacamole! This water's freezing! Daisy, what were you thinking? <laughs> now I want you to go inside and eat as much candy as you can. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of that. Mmm, this is good candy. Mm. Molly, why are you eating all that candy again? Uh, because you told me to. Keep eating, Molly, you're not done. Oh, it's a lot of candy, Daisy. It's a lot. Keep eating it, Molly. Keep eating it. Oh. Ah, my stomach hurts so bad. Oh. <laughs> Molly, where you going? I gotta go throw up. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Molly, maybe you shouldn't do the opposite. You should just listen. I'm not doing the opposite. I'm doing exactly what you tell me now. Okay, okay, you're confusing me right now, Molly. But the point is, is that sometimes you should just listen to the mature and responsible sister. Okay, I'll listen to everything you say. As soon as I lay down for a while, because I ate way too much candy. See, if it was up to you, Molly, you would have done silly things the entire time. But I'm trying to tell you to do the right thing, and you're not even listening. Molly? Molly? Listen to me! <laughs> Oh, brother, I can't be in charge of her. That's it. I quit. <laughs> now I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> oh, my gosh, hon, I'm so excited. I can't believe we're going to surprise the girls with a trip to Maine for the biggest carnival in the world. They're gonna love this summer trip, and I found the perfect Airbnb. It's like a castle. Look at this. Whoa! Wow! That looks amazing! And only $100 a night? Are you sure there's not something wrong with that Airbnb rental? What? No! It's just, I don't know, it's in Maine, so not a lot of people go there for vacation, I guess. Honey, it's the biggest carnival in the world. Everybody's going. So why is that Airbnb so cheap? Honey, quit being, you know, so crazy about this trip. I'm sure that it's going to be great. I'm booking it. Okay, well, it does look pretty amazing. I just hope it lives up to the photographs on the internet. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Good morning. Oh, good morning. How's summer vacation going, Molly? Perfect. You know why? No school. Also, no school. And lastly, no school. Well... Your mom and I have a surprise, but you have to wait till your sister Daisy comes down. Oh, who cares about Daisy? Just tell me the surprise! Good morning! Did someone say my name? Well, there she is. Now we can tell you our surprise. Really? Wow. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. What is it? What is it? Are we getting ice cream? Even better! We're going to Maine! Cue the depressing music! Womp, 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 womp! Why are we going to Maine? That's where old people go on vacation. Yeah, totally lame. Why are we going to, like, Florida, Miami Beach or something? What? No, Maine's going to be cool. Want to know why? Because the biggest carnival in the world is there. Whoa, sounds amazing. Wait a minute. Is this carnival bigger than Disney? I don't believe it. Well, I don't know if it's bigger than Disney, but we've already been to Disney, so this will be someplace new. Yeah, and we're leaving tonight, so go pack your stuff. Really? Well, a vacation's a vacation, I guess. I'm pretty excited. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Could I drive? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're terrible at driving. Ooh. Yeah, we actually want to get to Maine in one piece, Molly. I don't know why they think my driving's so bad. I think my driving is perfection. Yeah, like the time you fell off that cliff and crashed the car in a fiery blaze. Oh, that wasn't my fault. I was reaching for a muffin because I was hungry. And I wasn't paying attention. Ow. The muffin needed to get eaten. Molly, you're not driving. Get in the car. Fine. We're going on a vacation. It's going to be lots of fun. 
Oh no, mom started singing. I love vacation cause it's so much fun. Oh, how much longer till we get there? My parents have started singing. I know, right Molly? It's almost as bad as doing loads of homework. Not quite. Five hours later. Whoa, look at this place, Molly. It's amazing. OMG, let's go on the fun slide first. I haven't been down one of these since I was like two years old and they are so fun. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. There's so many amazing rides to go down. Oh, I'm gonna go on the pink slide. Whee, ow, in my face, ow, ow. <laughs> I totally need a do-over on that one. Uh, yeah, Molly, uh, you're not supposed to go down the slide on your face. Uh, maybe if I try like the yellow slide, that will work out better for me. No, nope, still going down on my face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Okay, maybe the fun slide is more like the injury slide. <laughs> Look at all these cool rides, Molly. Endeavor Space Wars. Ooh, free coins too. Gotta love free coins. Oh, what should we go on next? Everything, Molly. <gasps> is that a fun house of mirrors over there? <gasps> Let's go there next. That sounds so cool. They're creepy, Molly. I'm gonna go on a different ride. Okay, well, have fun, but I'm going in the creepy house of mirrors. But before I go to the fun house, ooh, look at all these tacos. Mm, mm, these are good tacos. If you've never had carnival food, you don't know what you're missing. Mm, I need to eat about 20 more of these. Mm, so good. Okay, how do I get in? <laughs> Everything looks like a doorway, but none of these are doorways. Um, one of these has to be a doorway into the fun house. <gasps> Found it! Ow. No. Ow. No. Guacamole. This is harder than it looks. Wait, I think I figured it out. Yes! Wow. I finally made it to the stairs! Dun, 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 dun. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, what's up with all the creepy clown costumes? Ugh. Is this some sort of horror carnival at some point? Those are terrifying. What? There's more costumes over here? And they're all the same creepy clown. Ugh. I'm out of here. Ugh, that was the creepiest fun house I've ever been in. So what'd you girls think of your first night at the largest carnival in the world? It was amazing. I rode so many rides I threw up. <laughs> best night of my life. Uh, yeah, best night of my life. What's wrong, Molly? Didn't you have fun? Um, well, I went into this fun house and it wasn't very fun. It was all these mirrors, which was pretty cool. But then there was all these creepy clown costumes. Probably from when they had a lot of clowns at the carnival. They were all the same, though, and their faces were really terrifying. Whoa, glad I didn't go into the fun house then. Honey, well, I'm pumping gas. Why don't you go in with your mom and uh, pick out some snacks? Then we'll head over to the Airbnb. Sounds good, Dad. Do you want anything? Um, yeah, would you give me a Coke and a bag of Doritos? Sure thing, Dad. Ooh, they have hot dogs, Molly. I've learned my lesson to never eat a gas station hot dog. You will barf your brains out. They're never good. Hmm, let's see, some Doritos, and Dad wants some Coca-Cola, and I want a candy bar. And who cares what Daisy wants? Ow. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. We're on vacation. You folks ain't from around here, is ya? Uh, no, oh, we, we live in Brookhaven. We're just here for the world's largest carnival. Oh, where are you staying? Oh, <laughs> we're staying up at the King Mansion. Looks amazing. Oh, the King Mansion. <laughs> well, good luck to you. <laughs> um, are you okay, mister? Oh, yeah, yeah, chef. Uh, that's uh, $15.99 for the uh, chips and the soda. Dad, I... Wait, don't drive away yet. Why? That guy was creepy. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, Daisy's still in the bathroom. Ow. Whoopsie! <laughs> Almost forgot one of our kids. <laughs> Bad parenting fail. Um, well, we don't have to tell her we almost forgot her. Right, Molly? Oh, I'm gonna tell her. I'm totally telling her. Gee, thanks, Molly. Okay, how ready to go? Mom and Dad almost left you here. What? They wouldn't do that, would you, Mom? Would you, Dad? <laughs> Think again, Daisy, because you almost got left at that creepy gas station. Oh, my God. Do I mean nothing to you guys? Um, 
Whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> We're just tired. We need to get to our Airbnb and go to bed. Um, Dad? Are you sure this is the King Mansion? Yeah, this is the address. It looks pretty great, right? Ugh, I knew this was too good to be true. I told you so. What are you talking about? Looks amazing. Uh, Dad, it looks a little bit down. <gasps> uh, are we sure this is an actual Airbnb? There's a sign here that says danger, keep out. That probably just means the moat. You know, don't go swimming in the moat. Really? But then what does this mean? Danger? Crazy people live here? They probably just have a really funny sense of humor. Come on, family. Let's go inside. We never get the opportunity to stay in a mansion. Wow, it's actually pretty nice on the inside, though. Yeah, see? Dad knows where it's at. Why are all these, like, boxes over here? Um, probably because whoever owned this Airbnb doesn't live here anymore. They just rent it out. Something tells me something creepy is going on at this house. Oh, uh, that's just because it's in a really old mansion. Wow, look at this over here. It's, it's like you can cook food in this old fireplace. That's amazing. All right, family. Uh, we can explore the house more in the morning. It's time for bed. It's really late. <sighs> okay, yeah. I am pretty tired. I don't want to sleep here. I don't like it here. Daisy, everything's going to be fine. It's just an old house. Doesn't mean it's haunted or anything. Look, you girls finally get your own rooms. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I don't want my own room. This house creeps me out. Fine, Daisy. You can bunk up in my room with, with me. But no snoring. Ah, this bed is actually pretty comfortable. Daisy, everything's going to be fine. I hope you're right, Miley. I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this place. Ah. Molly, was that you? Um, no, it was probably a ghost in the wall. Molly, how many tacos did you eat at the carnival? Uh oh. Um, seven. What? Oh, great. I'm really rethinking my my idea of sleeping in the same room with you if you're gonna be farting all night. <laughs> That's just what you have to do. You have to deal with my farts if you want to sleep in here. Well, I guess it's better than the monster getting me. Ah! Whoa, 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 what was that? What? Molly, are you farting more? No, Daisy, I, I just heard something creepy. Go back to sleep, Molly. Oh, it's way late. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just hear that? What was that? Yeah, Daisy, I, I heard it too. Molly, I don't like this old house. It's really creepy. Probably just the heating, like, system or something. These old houses are just really creaky and old. Come on, I'm, I'll show you. It's probably not... Why is there balloons in the hallway? I don't know, Molly. They weren't here before, before, were they? I don't remember them being here before. Come on, let's go downstairs and investigate. I think we should wake up mom and dad. Nah, they'll just yell at us for being loud in the middle of the night. Probably wouldn't believe us anyway. Nothing seems strange here. Molly! There's that sound again! It's coming from down there! Oh, great! Always in horror movies, the creepy sound is coming from the basement. We should definitely not go down there. Why, Molly? What happens? Well, usually the people that go into the basement don't return. Oh, um, yeah. This might be a good time to wake up mom and dad. Uh, I think you're probably right. Come on. <coughs> mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? Huh? What? What? What is it? There's some creepy sounds coming from the basement. What? Uh, it's probably just an old house and the radiators for the heat are just creaking. That's what Daisy and I thought too, but there's balloons in the hallway, which we didn't leave. Wait, what? Why are there balloons in the hallway? Maybe the welcoming committee was so happy that we're here. Honey, it looks like they haven't dusted, cleaned, or fixed up this house in about 100 years. Pretty sure they didn't leave us any balloons. I'm really freaking out. I want to go home. Don't worry. I'm a police officer. If there's anything in the basement, I'll handle it. Now, come on, family. Let's go together. Why, Dad? Are you afraid to go by yourself? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Dad, you have an axe? Yeah, conveniently, it was over here to cut firewood. 
And now it's going to be to chop somebody in half if they're creepy monsters. Okay, so there's the balloons we were telling you guys about. Okay, Molly, you go first. Really? I'm the kid, Dad! You have the axe! You go first. Ooh. Whoa, it's creepy down here. What is this? There's jail cells in this basement? Um, and also an axe and a collar. Uh, Dad, something tells me this is not the Airbnb you thought it was. Well, it is an old house. I mean, this may be where they kept prisoners, you know, back when it was actually a castle. Uh, yeah, but what were those creepy sounds? Molly, be careful. There may be holes in the floor. I don't want you to fall down into the sewer. You mean like that one over there? <laughs> With the balloons again? This is getting creepier and creepier. I think we're going to check into a hotel in the morning. But in the meantime, let's just try to get some sleep. Sleep? In this creepy place? I don't know about that. Okay, Molly, <laughs> let's try to get some sleep. Your mom and sister are probably already back to sleep already. Yeah, you're probably right. Daisy? Ah! <laughs> Dad! Dad! Daisy's not in her room! Neither is your mom, and all that's here is another thing of balloons! In my room, too! What was that? It sounded like it was coming from the basement. Help! And that sounded like Mom yelling from the basement. Dad, we we have to find out what has Daisy and Mom. Quick! Molly, I think you should stay up here. Keep an eye out. Dad! Molly, I mean it. Stay up there. Don't come down. Many, many minutes later. What's Dad doing down there? He told me not to come down there, but... I'm feeling like I really need to. I mean, I can't leave my family to a certain doom. I'm going down there. I have to be brave. I just, I have to be. Dad? M -m Mom? Daisy? was is gone. Mom, I'm coming! Mom! Daisy? Mom, Daisy, say something! <laughs> I'm Pennywise. What? It's the creepy clown from the carnival! You'll float too. <laughs> what? Get away from me, you creepy clown! Where's my dad? <laughs> talking about i won this free in a competition <laughs> this is gonna be the best day of our lives wow uh if you say so honey this place looks a little bit well gross yeah. guys come on where's your sense of adventure look at this place it looks amazing well dad what about the sign that says danger keep out oh <laughs> they're just being silly they must have a sense of humor now, come on let's go inside and look around Okay, Dad. I know you're excited about this vacation and, and winning this amazing Airbnb. Wow! It's actually pretty nice on the inside. Told you so. <laughs> this is going to be the best vacation ever, family. You just wait and see. pizza day no i'm just really excited because my mom said i could invite somebody well actually two people over for a sleepover and i want you to be one of them really like tonight even yeah do you have any other plans um 
Um, let me check my phone and see. Seriously, I'm your BFF. Cancel all your other plans. You're right. I'm just going to cancel everything. You're amazing, and I want to come to your sleepover. Okay, so we'll talk about all the cool, fun things we're going to do with the sleepover at lunch today, okay? Sounds good to me, Molly. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, no problem. Um, so who else are you going to invite? Well, my sister Daisy's going to be there, so I guess she's the other person. Oh, well, I like Daisy. Yeah, I guess she's okay for a sister. Ow. Well, she's not my sister. She's just my friend, so I'm cool with it. Can't wait for the sleepover. Uh, see you after class, Molly. Bye. <coughs> guess I'm going to have a sleepover. Even though my annoying sister's going to be there, at least Brookie's going to be there. Yay! <coughs> Molly, uh, did I get an invite to the sleepover? No. Molly, I live with you. I get an invite to the sleepover. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can come to the sleepover. And I invited Brookie. Hey, you guys are having a sleepover? Um, what time? I could come. Um, sorry, Luke, but I could only invite two people. Well, who did you invite? Brookie and, um, Daisy. Well, Daisy doesn't count. She lives with you. She does in my mom's eyes. I'm only allowed to have two people in my room. She said if I have more, things get like a zoo. Well, I feel I feel kind of like left out. I mean, I may have had fun at the sleepover. Really? Do you like to do cucumber masks and paint your toenails? Um, well, no, but we could have watched a movie. Oh, Luke, maybe another time. I I'm really sorry. Ugh. Okay, fine. Molly, did you do your homework? Um, uh, eh. I was too busy planning this sleepover. Yeah, that's it. Guys, I just love our spa sleepovers. They're so much fun. Yeah, except for this cucumber mask is making me kind of hungry. Is it okay to eat it? Molly, it's not supposed to be eaten. It's just supposed to go out your face. Well, it's sort of dripping down into my mouth, so... Mm, it doesn't taste that bad. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Here, Molly, eat some of this popcorn. It's much better for you. I don't know. Cucumbers are said to be healthy. Not the kind that in a face mask. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, look! The survival movie's out! I've been wanting to see this! What? You're eating popcorn and watching Survivor? That's, that's so unfair. I wanted to see that movie. Oh, I guess I could just stand outside here and just, like, watch it outside the window. <laughs> it's just so annoying. Achoo! <gasps> what was that? Did you guys hear that? <gasps> Luke, what are you doing? Hey, I saw you. Luke! Okay, well, I'm just kind of jealous that you guys are doing all the... Whoa, you look weird with that on your face. What's that green goopy stuff? It's a girl's spa sleepover. Of course you don't understand. And it, it, it tastes kind of good, too. Wait, what? You were eating that? Yeah. Well, okay, my stomach is smarter than my brain. I don't know what to say. But anyway, you, you weren't supposed to be here. And I look really ridiculous with this on my face. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't understand why I couldn't come. I mean, I told you, my mom said I could only have two people and my sister had to be one of them. Wah, wah, wah. You never invite me to anything fun. Oh, sorry, Luke. I don't even know if we're friends. You know what? I'm going to create my own fun. I'm going to make a Brookhaven just for boys. And since you're a girl, you're not allowed. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. I never said you couldn't play Brookhaven with us. I just said you can't come to the sleepover because I couldn't have more than two people. Well, I'm saying that that's not fair. You always pick Brookie. And so from this point on, you can't play boys Brookhaven. Luke, rude. What? You jealous? Because you're not a boy, so you can't play boy Brookhaven? Um, well, uh, yeah, kind of. I still want to hang out with you. See you later, Molly. Brookhaven is losery if you're a girl. I'm going to make the most amazing Brookhaven for boys ever. Ever. <laughs> I thought you left already. I haven't left. I'm still telling you that it's going to be amazing. Oh, man. That didn't go so good. What was that commotion about, Molly? You missed this part of survival where there was a spider crawling up his arm and this guy was screaming his head off? Yeah, well, Luke just decided that he's not going to play Brookhaven anymore with us. What? Are you serious? Yeah, he's making a boys-only Brookhaven. Holy guacamole! That means we can't get in there. We'll see about that. 
I'm gonna hack into the boys only in Brookhaven. Molly, I think that's a really bad idea. Daisy, be quiet. I'm having a moment with the camera. I have an evil idea. I'm going to hack into Luke's boy is Brookhaven. <laughs> wow, Molly. Dramatic. OMG! There's Luke's boys only Brookhaven. I'm going to try joining it. What? Ooh. Join error? Not authorized to join this game? Error code 524? <laughs> you don't think I'm very good at hacking into this sort of thing, Luke. But you're wrong. <laughs> All right, now that I've done some hacking, let's try this again. What? Join error? Oh my god, access denied? Are you serious right now? Come on. I just want to get in here and, and I don't know, ruin Luke's boys only Brookhaven because, uh, I don't know, I'm just feeling like it. Molly, don't be mean to Luke. He was really sad he didn't get invited to the sleepover. Let him have his own book haven if he wants it. No! I'm going to get in. If it's the last thing I do! Oh my god, the allow page came up. <gasps> it's loading! <laughs> I figured out how to get into Luke's boys only book haven. And guys, I am going to do something so fun right now. Watch this. Time for a transformation. Yo, bro, this is cool to have a Brookhaven boys only, but it's kind of lonely in here. I need to invite some of my friends. <coughs> Yo, bro. Who are you? Where'd you come from? Oh, my name is, um, the... Tony! Yeah, Tony. Um, okay, uh, Tony, why are you in my super private Brookhaven boys only? Uh, duh, I'm a boy! <laughs> oh, cool! It's getting kind of lonely being the only dude in here. Uh, are you ready to have some fun in this boys only Brookhaven? So, uh, no girls are allowed in here at all? That's gonna get boring. Girls are amazing. No, they're not. They're rude. They don't even invite me to their sleepover, and I would have eaten the cucumber mask and popcorn. Um, okay, dude. You're kind of weird, but whatever. <laughs> I'll hang out in your Brookhaven. Cool. Let's go do some fun stuff. Let's invite some other dudes first and, uh, you know, like, really make this a bro party. Dude, Sam! Wow. <laughs> Welcome to my boys-only Brookhaven. Um, this is... What'd you say your name was again? Tony! This is Tony. He seems pretty cool, even if he does new have new bacon hair. Yeah, I need to get some Robux so I can change that. <laughs> oh, Chunk, you made it awesome, man! Wow. Did you bring Doritos or, like, tacos or, like, any snacks for the rest of us? You know I did, Luke. I love snacks. Me too! I'll have a taco! Who are you? I'm Tony! <laughs> Yeah, Tony seems pretty cool, Chunk. Don't worry about it. So, uh, you guys want to go get some Manny Patty or maybe go to the spa or something? Haha, <laughs> is this dude for real? <laughs> Tony, whatever. We're gonna do some fun boy stuff. We're in boys only, Brookhaven. Duh. Uh, what exactly are we doing? Oh, Tony, we're gonna fly this plane. Or, I mean, what is it? A helicopter? You don't even know what it's called and you're gonna fly it? Oh, I think that might be a bad idea. Where's your sense of adventure? Come on, Tony. Okay, uh, try not to crash, though, Chunk. I can't imagine this is any harder than eating a taco. Oh, God, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die! Okay, actually, takeoff wasn't too bad. Let's see how Chunk is at flying. Dude, let's try doing a loop-de-loop. Uh, let's not. <laughs> you just ate all those tacos. Chunk! Oh, God! You're gonna puke everywhere! Talk about boring chunks! Oh, you're gonna barf! Oh, Chunk! <laughs> Don't worry. I got a stomach like a billy goat, except for I think we're gonna crash! Oh! Not just kidding. We're still doing loop-de-loops. Huh? Oh, I think I want to go back to Girls Only Brookhaven. What? What'd you say, Tony? Uh, nothing! <laughs> this is the most fun ever! Oh, God. Uh... Oh, God! Something wrong with this helicopter! Everyone bail! Uh, we're too far off, Chunk. That's a bad idea. Don't worry, we can respawn! Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't actually die. <laughs> Boys Only Brookhaven is kind of crazy.
crazy. <laughs> hey, Tony, come on. Let's go in the water. It's so nice out today. I didn't bring a bathing suit. A bathing suit? Uh, boys wear swim trunks, weirdo. Yeah, that's what I meant. Swim trunks. Uh, this water does feel super good. Hey, Luke, what's that floating in the water over there? It, it looks like a wig. What? What is that? Ew, I think it, it might be like some sort of creepy animal. What are you guys talking about? Hey, Tony, you're not a Tony, you're a Molly. Uh, how did you get in my boys only Brookhaven? Uh-oh, my voice changer is breaking because it's in the water. It's gonna sound like me now. Um, uh, I just hacked into it. Molly! Sorry, um, but I just wanted to, need, to like, hang out with you. I, I needed to see what the Boys Only Brookhaven was like. Molly, get out of my Brookhaven now! No, I don't think I'm going to. Okay, fine. Since I'm the admin, I'm kicking you out and banning you. What? You wouldn't dare! Oh, Molly, is that really hurting your feelings? Your face looks kind of funny. No, that's just because I ate one of Chunk's tacos, and now... <laughs> Ew! She farted in the water! Sorry. <laughs> that's it, Molly. You didn't invite me to your sleepover, and then you hacked into my boys-only Brookhaven? You're getting banned. Luke, I thought we were, you know... <gasps> you were kicked from this experience? Owner of this private server kicked you? Luke! How could you? <laughs> girls, girls, good morning. It's time to wake up. You want to wake up in time for a healthy breakfast to get dressed, wash your face, brush your teeth. I'm out of bed. Oh, I slept so good. Oh. What? Whose wife is being so loud? Go, go, go away! Molly, we go through this every school morning. Please, just get out of bed. It's 6.30. Who wakes up at 6.30? That is far too early for a human being to be awake. I'm awake. Wow, that's because you're a goody two-shoes. <sighs> Molly, you just fell asleep while you were talking. Ugh. Oh. Fine, I'm up. But I'm not happy about it. Not one little bit. Oh, I hate having to get up early for school. Just think if I didn't have to brush my teeth, get dressed, take a shower, eat breakfast. I wouldn't have to get up until 7.45. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, but I'm stuck waking up at 6.30 every day. Too tired. Too tired. Molly, you're not even dressed yet. You're going to miss the school bus. I don't care. This is how I'm going to school today. In my pajamas. No, no. No, where's the donuts? Molly, there's no donuts today. And you're not wearing your pajamas to school. Uh oh This is ridiculous. We should just be able to go to school and work and what we wear to bed. That way, we don't even have to worry about it in the morning. Molly, you're not going to get away with it. Now, eat something healthy for breakfast. Get dressed and get out to the school bus stop. Fine. Bye, Mom. Have a great day. Bye, girls. Love you. Molly, turn your frown upside down. Bye, Mom. Just drive away. Drive away. You're not going to get a smile. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Molly. What's up? Whoa, Molly. You look so grumpy. What's wrong with you? She woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> like literally, she didn't want to get up. She didn't want to put on her clothes. She basically didn't want to do life today. Is that true, Molly? <laughs> you know, you have to come to school. Yeah, I have to come to school, but do I have to put on clothes and, and deodorant and like eat healthy and stuff? Well, you should, unless you want to be stinky, stinky doo-doo. I'm not stinky, stinky doo-doo. <laughs> Boogie, you're hilarious. Oh, it's the bell. Come on, Molly. I'll be there soon enough. I've got a little something I need to do. Okay, Molly, but don't get into trouble. <laughs> trouble? Me? Okay, who am I kidding? Trouble's my middle name. The principal's out of her office. Uh -oh. Perfect. This should work absolutely perfectly. Uh -oh. Is this thing on? Crookhaven High students, hear this. From this day forward, well, actually, it would be tomorrow because you're already here. 
Okay, from tomorrow forward, everyone shall wear pajamas all day long. Every day. Or you will get in school suspension. Bam, bam, bam. We're calling this the pajama era. Whoa, Brookie, did you hear that? The pajama era. I don't even know if I have enough pajamas to wear to school every day. And they're not even cute, really. Oh, Daisy, leave it to you to have to be a fashionista and wear the cutest pajamas. Well, if I have to wear pajamas, they might as well be cute. I, I can't but help but thinking that sort of sounded like Molly's voice over the loudspeaker. Nah, she wouldn't dare go into the principal's office when the principal wasn't there. That's asking for a month of detention. Uh -oh. Molly, Daisy, come on, it's time to wake up. It's almost 6.30. Okay, Mom, I'm coming. I'm not. I'm going back to sleep until 7.45. Because today, we're in the pajama era, which means I don't even have to do anything but grab a donut on the way into school. <sighs> ah, the good life. <laughs> Look at me in my pajamas. Don't I look cute in my pajamas? Let's do the pajama dance. Let's do the pajama dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna do the pajama dance. Now, where is that lazy breakfast? Um, ooh, cold pizza sounds good to me. Mm. We didn't have donuts, so leftover pizza it is. Time to get to school. Mm. Right on time. I'm freezing in these pajamas. I wish I was wearing real clothes. <laughs> Why don't you wear your winter pajamas? Well, because they have holes in the bottom, I really need some new pajamas. Yeah, especially since you're going to be wearing pajamas every single day. Do, 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 do. This is just weird. Well, I normally wear my running suit to bed. Um, So this is what I'm wearing today. Cute jammies, though. I like them, Molly. Thank you, they're very comfy. <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? Yeah, I sort of smell it too. What is that? Oh, I didn't take a shower today. Ew, Molly! What? <laughs> I just wore the pajamas I wore last night. Duh. Well, there's the bell. Better get into class. Good morning. Oh, I'm so tired. Ugh. What? You're wearing your pajamas. You got to sleep in later. I know, but something about being in my pajamas just makes me think of bed. Oh, and now I feel so sleepy and lazy. Oh, no test today. What? Are you serious? Did you guys hear that? Where's all the other students? Oh, they didn't even feel like getting out of bed. They just stayed in their pajamas and went back to sleep. I don't know if this was such a good idea. The pajama era just seems, well, lazy. Precisely. <laughs> no work? Uh, can we play on our phones then? Uh, I guess. Watch TikTok. Do whatever you want. Yay! Pajamas every single day was the best idea I've ever had. Oh, I'm so tired. I think I'll just like lay down here in front of the board. Are you okay? Are you sick? No, I'm just feeling so lazy. Not having to get up, take a shower, put on real clothes, it just makes me feel, well, out of sorts. Yeah, I like when you're out of sorts. No homework, no tests, no annoying things about school. Yes, lunchtime! Come on, guys, I'm starving. And I heard it's pizza day. Marty, you had pizza for breakfast. Yeah, but I don't care. Pizza for breakfast, pizza for lunch, pizza for dinner. Hey, Large Marge, I'll have three slices of pepperoni pizza, please. What? Pizza? <laughs> I didn't make pizza. Okay, can we have hoagies then? Didn't make that either. Um, did you make anything? No. What? But you're the lunch lady, why not? Too busy sitting down over here. Actually, I think I'm just gonna lay down right here behind the, the counter. What are you talking about? It's pajama day, and I'm feeling kind of lazy. But Large March, we're hungry! 
So sad, too bad. Too busy laying down in my jammies. Molly, this is gonna end badly. Everybody's getting lazy and, and, and sleeping all the time. What if we fall asleep for a hundred years and never wake up? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The teacher is sleeping in a sleeping bag in our classroom. I know, isn't it great? No, Molly. This is going horribly wrong. You, you really need to stop this. Now, I know that the principal is out to lunch at Starbucks today. She just decided to take the day off because it's pajama day. You can fix this, Molly, by going in on the loudspeaker and telling everybody pajama era is over. Ugh, well, I guess I could, but I don't think I like this. Molly, please, I need to wear my wool sweaters again, I'm fleazy. Okay, fine, but only because I miss Large March making the most delicious school lunch pizzas ever. May I have your attention, please? Pajama Day era is over. O-V-E-R. We will now begin Halloween costume era. You must wear a Halloween costume every day or you get in school suspension. <laughs> Mrs. Um, Bernard, who are you supposed to be? I'm dressed like the lunch lady, Large Marge. Actually, I forgot my costume and she let me borrow this outfit because I didn't want to get in school suspension. Okay, class, everybody take out your homework, please. I'm still for Weezik. This cow costume is not very warm. Oh, quit complaining. Halloween every day is so much fun. I'm planning on trick-or-treating like every single night. Molly, where's your homework? Please take it out. Who's Molly? I'm Mr. Waterburger. <laughs> Mr. Waterburger doesn't do any homework. Molly, Waterburger is a place where you go for dinner. Well, that's all I can think of. <laughs> but I am Mr. Waterburger. You kind of look like Mr. KFC. <laughs> hey, who are you talking to, banana? I'm not sure this is any better than the pajama era. <laughs> This week on Survivor, man gets eaten by a crocodile. Holy guacamole! <gasps> oh, look, it's Brookie. Hello? Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm um, just watching some TV, but did you know on Survivor this week, somebody gets eaten by a crocodile? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I know, crazy, right? Hey, what are you doing right now? You want to play some soccer or something? No! I don't to. Let me go ask my mom, okay? Hold on. Mom! 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 Yes, Molly, I'm over here doing a mountain of chores. Uh -oh. Would you like to help? <laughs> Very funny, Mom. Hey, um, since it's summer break, Brookie wants to come over and hang out and play soccer. Is that okay? Um, well, I don't know. Your room was really messy. Did you clean it? Um, yeah, it's clean-ish. That's uh, sort of, I mean, pretty clean. Yeah, it's clean. Okay, Molly, well, as long as your room is clean. Sure, Brookie can come over. Wow. Hey, Brookie, you still there? Yeah, Molly, what's going on? My mom said you could come over. Come on over in like five minutes, okay? Sure, Molly, I'll bring my soccer ball. See you then. Brookie Cookie! Brookster! brookie doo 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 <laughs> Molly, you have so many crazy nicknames for me. <laughs> yeah, but my favorite is Brookie Cookie because the word, well, Brookie and Cookie are in it. Oh, you brought the good soccer ball. Of course I did, Molly. Now let's see who can kick it the farthest. Me, it's gonna be me. I don't know, Molly, I've been practicing. Hey, don't send it all the way down into town. Oh, now I have to run down this huge hill. Told you I'd kick it the farthest. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, Brookie, you didn't kick it. You missed it and it went behind you. Ow. Okay, yeah, but I've been practicing. Oh, man. It's okay. Just just try again, Brookie. You got this. You got this. Brookie Cookie! Brookie Nader! Brookster! Brookie doo dee doo dee doo dee doo doo. Wow, you have been practicing, Brookie. That's amazing. Thanks, Molly. I really want to try out for the soccer team this fall at school. 
I think you could make it. I definitely do. Wow. <gasps> Look at this room. Molly didn't clean her room at all. Ew, what's that smell? Is that dirty laundry? Ew, pew. And there's dirt everywhere and garbage and... What's that? Pizza from last week? Yeah. Ugh, Molly! So I told Luke, if he really likes Sarah, then don't bother asking me to the dance. <gasps> yeah, right? She's such a bully. Molly! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Molly, your mom looks and sounds super mad. I don't know why. What got into her? Molly, did you tell me you cleaned your room? Oh, um, about that. Ooh. Molly Acker, you send Brookie Cookie home right now and come inside and clean up this disaster of a room. You're lucky I'm not grounding you for the rest of summer for lying to me. Oh, man, Brookie, we were just starting to really have fun. I know, Molly, I'm so sorry, but it sounds like your mom's really mad. I might see you next week after I clean it. Seriously. It's that messy. It's gonna take days and days to clean it. Well, Molly, good luck. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. Molly, you and I are gonna have a problem with each other if the whole summer vacation goes like this. Your room is a disaster. Rats are gonna start coming in there. Cockroaches, you have pizza from last week. What's going on? I just got home from the park. Well, your room is very messy, both of you. Ooh. Don't blame me, Molly's the slob. Really, Daisy, I'm the slob? What about those science experiments that went wrong that smell like a bean burrito fart? <coughs> okay, yeah, well, there's that. Both of you girls go to your room and don't come back out until it's clean. Fine, this totally ruined my hangout with Brookie. Worst Ow. day ever. Uh-oh. Um, our room is pretty messy. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Molly, the smell that's coming from your laundry is about to make me pass out. Now, I figure we should probably just shovel it out the window. Ugh, this is going to take all day. Ah. Oh, nobody knows how sad I am. Nobody even cares. Hey, D Daisy, do you remember that door being there? No, we don't even have a closet in this room. Did Dad make a closet while we were gone? I don't remember that, and I was just here this morning. How weird. <gasps> Daisy, do you think we should look inside? I don't know, Molly. Look at how that light is coming out from below the door. That's really weird. Yeah, but maybe it's just a place to put our clothes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on, let's step inside. Um, uh, I feel like this might be a bad idea. Daisy, it's a door in our bedroom. I'm sure that it's nothing. Come on. Ah! Daisy, what is this place? I don't know. It looks like a trash chute. <laughs> Convenient my dad put a trash chute in our bedroom. That way it makes cleaning out all my garbage super easy. Whoa! What? It was a trash chute. Look, we're just in the basement with a bunch of smelly garbage. Yeah, I thought that door was going to go somewhere cool. Like a like an alternate universe. But turns out we're just back in our house. Now we've got to go clean our rooms. Yeah, so annoying. Ooh. Daisy, I smell like garbage. Me too, Molly. Ew, it smells gross. Mom, do you have any trash bags? What? Trash bags? For what? Um, because we're cleaning that huge mess out of our room that you told us to. What? Clean a mess? No. You girls don't have to do that. Do you want a cupcake? Um, yeah. Are you feeling okay, Mom? I feel great. <laughs> How about I make you all your favorite foods? Um, okay, but you don't want us to clean our room? You were really mad about that. Uh-oh. No way. Cleaning your room is boring. I want to have lots of fun. <coughs> Starting with your most delicious favorite snacks. I don't know what happened to my mom, but all of a sudden she turned from Karen into the fun mom. Wow. I'm all about this. 
all about it. Okay, Mom, I'll have some cupcakes, some pizza, a candy bar. You know, the list is pretty long. No problem, sweetie. I'll make you anything you ever want. Mm. This donut's delicious. And when I'm done stuffing that in my face, I got some pizza and a muffin. Mm. This is delicious. Mom, Molly, if we eat any more, we're either gonna explode or have the worst stomach ache ever. <laughs> It'll be worth it. So worth it. More donuts, more pizza, more muffins. Here I am with one of your favorite treats, ice cream. Seriously? Where'd you get that ice cream cart from, Mom? Oh, I just bought it because I thought you girls would love it. Oh, uh, Mom, you've turned into the best mom ever. Wait, do we have to do any chores today? Like vacuum or... <laughs> no, that's boring. I want us to have fun all the time here. Um, okay. Well, this sounds great to me. Daisy, this is the episode I was telling you about. Where the guy on Survivor gets eaten by a, by a crocodile. Ugh, I ate too many sweets. I feel terrible. Nah, not me. I still got room for more pizza. You're gonna buff, Molly. Oh, look at the time. 8.30. We need to go up to bed. Ugh, yeah. I really wanted to see the part where the crocodile comes, though. Hi, girls. How's TV? Are you having fun? Yeah, totally. Yay, except for we didn't see the part about the crocodile, and it's time for us to go to bed. Bedtime? Don't be ridiculous. There's no such t thing as bedtime here. Wait, what? Sure, you can stay up as late as you want and eat more snacks. Always more snacks. Sounds good to me. Not me. I got a stomach ache. Ow. Uh, ugh. I can't take one more bite. My pants are going to explode. <laughs> or, well, Whoops. my stomach might explode instead. Ew, Molly. Come on, Molly. Let's go to bed. My stomach really hurts. Yeah, me too. Come on. Super late. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm exhausted. And also, I think I might need to have a moth bucket. Ugh, me too. Ugh, why did I eat all that? That was a bad idea. Can't believe my mom let me do that. Ugh, my stomach is so upset. I need some medicine. Pepto Bismol, here I come. Ugh. Oh, wow. It's really dark down here. My mom always leaves the light on. She knows I'm afraid of the dark. What's that chop, chop, chopping sound? Mom, are you still up? Yes, honey. I'm making more sweet treats for you and your sister. Um, uh, actually, I was thinking that I needed some Pepto-Bismol. My stomach's really hurting. No more sweet treats. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. and stay up late. You don't have to do any chores. And don't even worry about ever going to school again. We can all be together. Always. I mean, as long as you want to be like me. <laughs> and I'm so fun, aren't I? This is all just a bad dream. It's because I ate too many weird things before bed. Yeah, just go back to sleep, Molly. When you wake up, everything will be just fine. I'm sure of it. Ah! <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? I went downstairs to get some medicine. And, 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 and Mom was really, really, really looking different. Daisy, you didn't even put your pajamas on. I know. My stomach hurt too bad. I just got into bed just like this. What do you mean, Mom was really different? I mean, she, 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 she had the weird face in her eyes were like really creepy and, uh... Molly, 
You're being dramatic because your stomach hurts. Go to bed. Fine. Rude. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sleep. That creepy face. It's all I can think about. No, no, I don't want to be like you, other mother. You're creepy, no. Molly, wake up, it's morning. Huh, what? What, where's creepy mother? What, what are you talking about, Molly? You were just being dramatic. <sighs> Let's go have some breakfast. Something healthy. Yeah, you're probably right. It was probably just my imagination after I ate all of that junk food. So now, do you want to have something healthy? Um, is a candy bar for breakfast considered healthy? What? No, Molly! You could have an apple or a piece of fruit or some eggs and toast. Yeah, for once in my life, I probably will eat something healthy. Yesterday was crazy! Made my stomach kind of really hurt. Come on, let's go eat some apples and stuff for breakfast. Good morning, Mom! Good morning, girls. I made you pancakes with donuts on top. Uh, we were thinking about something healthy. No more sweet treats, Mom. It's too much on our stomachs. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Sweet treats are the best. <coughs> ah, it wasn't all a dream. Ah, what is going on right now, Molly? My guess is when we went through that door, it was a portal to another world with another mother. A different mother? Other mother? Creepy mother! <laughs> I'm so much fun. Other mother loves you and wants you to be just like me. Um, I'm thinking no. How do we get back to reality where there's chores and, you know, not creepy faces and stuff? There is no way back. You're with me now. And I love you. Now let me go get some needle and thread. I want to make your face just like mine. Um, I'm thinking no. Molly, run! Oh my god. Oh my god, I was tripped over the ice cream stand that other mother got. I mean, I guess I'd be okay, okay way to like fall as if you were falling in a vat of ice cream. Molly, quit thinking about crazy food things. Just, just run. I am running as fast as I can after eating all those treats yesterday. Holy guacamole! Daisy, everything looks the same! How do we know how to get back? Daisy, look, what's that? It looks like a portal, Molly! Maybe a doorway back to, back to where we came from! Where are you two going? We're family now. Ah! Daisy, I don't know where that portal goes, but it can't be as bad as here with other mother! Go for it, Daisy! Go! back at our bedroom. Um, that door is evil. Do not ever go in there. Other mother is creepy. Let's see. Let's see, though, if we're back in our own reality. Mom? Mom? Do you have an axe and a, and a creepy face? Ooh. What are you girls doing down here? So far, she seems like our real mom. Of course I'm your real mom. You've been up in your bedroom for five minutes and I guarantee that room is not clean yet. Mom, I'm so happy to see you. What? Why? What? What's going on? We just love you, Mom. Thanks for making us do all these chores and clean our room and, and, and be sort of like crazy about us, you know, doing our schoolwork and we love you. Aww. Are you girls trying to get out of cleaning your room? Go clean it. Mom, anything you want, we'll do it. Marty, look. The portal door. It's gone. Holy guacamole. You know what I say. Goodbye and good riddance. Yeah, I've never been so happy to clean my messy room. Well, you yeah, have fun with that. I'm just going to eat this donut from, you know, other mother. <gasps> Molly, you brought back something from the other world? Now she's always going to have a way to get through to us. Don't eat that donut! Um, too late. <laughs> Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, uh, studying. Yeah, that's it. 
Are you really studying? Uh, well, uh, not really. I'm just watching Brooke High pretending I'm studying. Molly, you're gonna fail that test tomorrow. Well, what's new? <laughs> Molly, do you want to repeat the grade you're in? Holy guacamole, not really. Well, you're gonna if you don't start actually studying. Now turn off the TV. Okay, Miss Bossy. Ugh, my sister thinks she's perfect at everything. No, not perfect at everything. Just most things. <laughs> Who wants to read Shakespeare anyway? Boring! Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Who is that? Ah! It's, it's, it's... Yeah, I already saw you, so don't try running away. Oh, man, it's Sarah. Well, I guess you have to let her win. Come on in, Sarah. What are you doing here? It's not like we're friends or something. Oh, well, I'm doing some studying. <laughs> you don't want to come here to study. I'm terrible at studying. Yeah, she really is, Sarah. No one asked you. Okay, rude. Uh, just so you know, you're in my house right now, so your rudeness level should be at zero. Yeah, your rudeness level should be at zero. Well, I came here to study, uh, you know, a loser. Wait, what? Yeah, and you're the loser, Molly, so I'm here to study you. Can you believe her right now? She just came into my house, Daisy, and she's being super rude. Actually, I wouldn't put this past Sarah at all. It's sort of a personality. So, uh, why are you studying a loser? Not that I am one. Well, it just seems like you losers actually have friends. And, um, well, uh... And you don't have any real friends at all? Oh, you noticed. Yeah, of course we did, Sarah. It's not hard to see that you eat your lunch by yourself. Except for those cronies that you make eat lunch with you. Yeah, are they even your real friends? Uh, well, uh, not really. Look, I need a genuine, real friend in my life. I'm kind of lonely. Really? You're admitting this to us? Yeah, but I'll bully you if you tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I can't figure out why I don't have any friends, so I'm here to, like, study someone who has real friends. Wow, I guess it's sort of a compliment. Don't take it that way. Hmm, how can I help Sarah figure out why she doesn't have a genuine friend? Hmm, hmm. Don't mind my sister. She always paces back and forth when she's trying to figure something out. I got it! Okay, what is it, loser? I have a magic potion that'll shrink Daisy and I down, and we can climb inside your ear and go into your brain and see why you don't have any real friends. Say what? Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, Sarah's kind of negative. We might never find our way back out of a brain. Are you for real right now? Yeah, my sister is a scientist. She figured out how to make the potion. Uh, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. It's a great idea! Now sit down and don't worry. I feel like I'm like a science experiment. That's because you are! Daisy, go get the potion. I mixed it with a shamrock shake from McDonald's because St. Patty's Day is coming up. Plus, those are delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to drink that. Is this a potion or like a treat? A little bit of both, Sarah. A little bit of both. Okay, here goes nothing. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, Marley, you have some. I don't feel anything yet. Give it a minute, Molly. Give it a minute. Whoa, we're getting smaller! Holy guacamole, I feel so small! All right, let's get this over with. Oh, huh, look, Daisy. I think we're at Sarah's house. Whoa, her mom drives a Ferrari? That's amazing! Right, Molly? What's this all about? I mean... I didn't think Sarah was so rich. Well, she does wear designer clothes. Look, my mommy's home. Oh, I haven't seen her in a whole week. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, honey. Just got back from Hawaii. What an amazing girls trip it was. Mommy, mommy, mommy. It's so good to see you. Whoa, Sarah's totally different, Molly. Yeah, she really is. When she was a kid, she wasn't grumpy at all or mean, it seems. 
Ah, uh, I guess it's good to see you too, Sarah. Thanks, Mommy. Um, guess what? Today on my spelling test, I got a 99, and I didn't even have a grown-up to help me study. Isn't that amazing, Mommy? No, it's horrible. Why didn't you get a 100 on your test? Ugh, you're such a disappointment. Go to your room and study harder. Oh, okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Wow, Sarah's mom is, well, mean. I know. That kind of broke my heart, Molly. Sarah was nice. Some other things must have happened to her to make her the way she is. Look, Molly, it's the first day of school. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, you slept in till noon. <laughs> Oopsie! Mom, Mom, it's my first day of school. I'm wearing my new outfit, and doesn't my hair look cute? Ugh, look at your hair. I know, right? I spent a whole hour on it. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. Go brush it. Don't do it in pigtails again. Who she being mean to about pigtails? Pigtails are totally fashionable and adorable if I say so myself. Okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you think that they would look ugly. I'll go brush my hair and do something different with them. <laughs> Ugh, kids are so annoying. You're the meanest mom ever! You're so mean! Molly, she can't hear you. This is one of Sarah's memories. It's not real. Well, I'm just telling you. You're rotten and you made Sarah into a bully! Whoa, Molly, I think we're going somewhere else. Whoa! What are we doing at the school at 6 o'clock at night? I don't know. Everybody else has gone home. But Sarah's still here practicing? Be aggressive. Ugh. Why can I not remember this cheer? I'm never going to be a cheerleading captain. And my mom will think I'm a total loser. All right, I have to be perfect. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. Okay, I'm going to try it now. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -E. Oh, I've got to try again. Whoa, see how I practice this much after school in order to be the cheerleading captain? Yeah, I had no idea. Seems like she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be, well, perfect. Whoa! Daisy, I think we're going someplace new! Whoa! These memories are making me dizzy! Hello, I have a appointment to get my hair and nails done, and they need to look perfect. Oh, yes, Sarah, I remember you. Remember me? I did your hair for the first time last time. Yeah, I remember, and one of my hairs was out of place, and I did not tip you for that. I noticed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to let it happen again. Having perfection is pretty much impossible, though. Well, you better figure it out. Oh, look who it is, Sarah. Um, you feeling a little bit uh, ugly and need to look pretty again? No, that's not why someone comes to the salon. I mean, why aren't you here? Oh, I'm just here because, well, I need to have my nail fillers done again. So you're not perfect either. Oh no, I'm totally perfect. I was just saying that you have some hair out of place there and you look, well, a little under the weather because you have a pimple on your face. Wait, what? A pimple? No, I don't. Actually, dear, yes, you do. But don't worry, I can give you a nice exfoliation so you look better afterwards. Ah, a pimple? No, I have to be perfect. Ah. <laughs> Looks like maybe I'll have to take over as cheerleading captain since you have that hideous thing on your face. What? Just a pimple? I mean, I don't have to be absolutely perfect. Oh, no, I was actually talking about your nose. Ugh, it's way too big. No cheerleading captain can have a nose like that. What's wrong with my nose? My nose is fine! I, I, I am perfect! I'm totally perfect! Holy guacamole! That was a crazy trip through your brain, Sarah. Yeah, no kidding. No wonder you're grumpy and a bully. Whatever. Can you tell me how to have a friend? Like a real one? Um, yeah, we can think about that. Uh, I'm really sorry about your home life. Seems like your mom is really judgmental. Yeah, she expects me to be perfect, so that's exactly what I am. Perfect. Your mom seems really self-centered. And, like, she doesn't really care about anybody but herself. Rude! 
Yeah, tell me about it. My mom at least makes me pancakes and stuff. My mom's never made me a pancake in her entire life. She is pretty, well, selfish. Yeah, Sarah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Whoa, I think I'm growing again. Whoa, that was weird. Tell me about it, Marley. When the potion wears off, it feels strange. Hey, Sarah, I have a, I have a solution to why you don't have any friends. Oh, good. Tell me how losers have friends. Well, that's just the thing, Sarah. We're not perfect. Sometimes we are losers. Sometimes we have pimples or a hair out of place. Sometimes we don't make cheerleading, Captain. Sometimes we get detention. But we're real. We don't act like robots. We don't act perfect all the time. We are genuine human beings. Wait, what? People actually like you because, like, you're losers? Yeah, pretty much. Because we're human. So, basically, I just have to try to, like, be a mess in my life and people will like me? Yeah, exactly. Just like Molly. Everyone's a mess. Everyone loves her because she's a mess. Daisy! <laughs> I just tell it like it is. Sarah, we could be your friends if you want. That is, if you stop bullying us and, you know, be a decent human being. I'll have to think on this, losers. But, um, this was weird. And don't tell anybody at school you got inside my brain. Uh, no, trust me. No one wants to know anything about your brain. And Sarah, you don't have to be perfect. You could be just yourself. I'll think about it. Bye, losers! Okay, that was the weirdest Wednesday night, Evel. <laughs> You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me.